Good morning, everybody. Lee Brower here. Welcome to this week's edition of Meaningful Monday. I am so grateful to be here. I am so glad to be here. Isn't this a wonderful time of the year? I mean, when you think about it, can you think of a more appropriate time of the year to feel and share gratitude? You know, like as we are inspired by the spirit of renewal that comes from the celebration of Easter and the reflections of freedom that comes from the Passover. Think about the transformative power of gratitude. You know, we look at it as a simple gesture. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oftentimes, thank you doesn't mean thank you. It means I'm done with you. It's just used in a form that's so casual. Let's explore how powerful this act of gratitude can flow through our lives and not enrich not only ourselves, but those around us. There's a research study that said, even though that we know how powerful it is to express gratitude and how we feel better, the study showed that 60% of us hold back this powerful gift in our workplaces. Imagine, in the places where we spend most of our waking hours, we hesitate to unleash the full power or the full potential of gratitude. It's like holding back a river, constraining a river that was waiting to irrigate our pastures and irrigate our crops with nourishment, with life, and we hold it back. You see, gratitude isn't just a nice to have. It's a catalyst for growth. It's a catalyst for productivity. It's a catalyst that enriches our home, our workplace, and our communities. There was a study done that showed that a simple act of gratitude, a simple act of gratitude increased a group's productivity by 50%. Let that sink in. Half again as much from just a few sincere words. Gratitude matters. Gratitude is the willpower of the heart. Gratitude is the willpower of the heart. Gratitude is more than thanks. It's recognition of the good in others and in ourselves. And it strengthens qualities like patience, honesty, self-control, grit, determination, kindness, compassion. All are fueled by authentic gratitude. Now, you can't have authentic gratitude at the core of authentic gratitude. Leadership and gratitude and humility all come together. You can't have effective leadership. You cannot have effective gratitude without humility. They're close cousins. So these and these are the great qualities that are reflected right now in the Easter celebration and Passover celebration. It's not about diminishing ourselves. It's about recognizing the strengths in everyone around us. It's about less me and more we. Gratitude nurtures this mindset. It encourages us to be leaders who aren't just growing for our, our own sake, but for the enrichment of all. So as we move forward this week, can I challenge us to unleash the power of gratitude in our lives? How about unleash it in the power of your lives? Let it flow like a mighty river. You know, let it flow. Let it hit the shores of, you know, as it flows through, touching every shore with all of the benefits of gratitude, kindness, humility, growth, understanding, compassion, whether it's just thanking somebody at the workplace, honoring family members, maybe it's a smile to somebody, a gesture to a stranger. What if it's just top of mind for us as we move throughout this next week? We can create a, 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 an environment of where gratitude isn't just a drop in the pond. It is so much bigger than that. It's a tidal wave of change. I truly believe that it can be. So I'm going to let you choose the question for you. Let's start each day by asking an empowering question. Who can I see today that I wouldn't normally see and express gratitude to? How might I express gratitude to something or someone today that normally I would be quiet about or that normally I wouldn't see? You create the question. Let's have a transformative week. Let's be a tsunami of gratitude. Let's make that difference that we're capable of making. Gratitude is the willpower of the heart. Have a meaningful week. We will talk next week. Bye-bye.